dear cadets assalamu alaikum and good morning i welcome you to my class i am shafina raha i am an assistant professor in english of borikhel cadet college today i am going to conduct a class in class 12 the subject is english second paper and the topic is narration learning outcomes after the end of the cadets end of the session cadets will be able to know what narration is learn the rules of narration change into indirect speech from direct one and vice versa cadets first of all you have to know what narration is what the speaker says is called narration narration is of two parts direct narration indirect narration cadets when the speaker's speech is stated without any change is called direct narration and when the speaker's speech is changed and stated in direct in indirect style is called indirect narration see the example here first one is the example of direct narration and second one is the example of indirect narration narration sania said i shall go home today this is the direct narration because without any change the speech of sania has been stated here in the second one sania said that she would go home that day so here in the indirect style the speech of sania has been stated that's why it is called indirect narration cadets is very necessary to know the different part of narration cadets here you see sania said this said is called reporting verb then here cadet you see sania said to shazma i am ill this i am ill in the inverted comma is called reported speech sania is the subject of the reporting verb and shazma is the subject object of reporting verb cadets reporting verb if it doesn't have any object we will not change reporting verb and we will use it without any change see the example he said i will go home soon here cadets this reporting verb said doesn't have any object that's why we will not change this reporting verb he said that he would go home soon but if reporting verb has subject object then it will be changed into said will be changed into told and says will be changed into tells he said to me i will go home soon here correct you see said reporting verb has an object that's why it will be changed into told he told me that he would go home soon sometimes reporting verb is in the present tense or future tense for this cases we will not change the tense in the reported speech see the example joya says i have done the sum 
Here, cadets. Joya says is a present indefinite tense. So that's why we will not change the tense in the indirect narration. Joya says that she has done the sum. So here you see the tense of the reported speech has not been changed. Another example, Joya will say, I have done the sum. Cadets, you see, this is the example of future indefinite tense. The reporting verb is in the future indefinite tense. That's why we will not change the tense in the reported speech. See it. Joya will say that she has done the sum. But the if reporting verb is in the past indefinite tense, the tense of the reported speech will be changed according to the rule. You see, she, she said to me, she has done the sum. Here, said is, an, is a past indefinite tense. So that's why we will change the tense in the reported speech. See the example? She told me that she had done the sum. So here, present perfect tense in the reported speech has been changed into past perfect tense in the indirect narration. Sometimes we use universal truth or habitual fact. For this also, we will not change the tense in the reported speech. See the example. The teacher said, earth moves round the sun. This earth moves round the sun is an universal truth. That's why we will not change the tense in the reported speech. The teacher said that the earth moves round the sun. So as it is an universal truth, we haven't changed the tense in the reported speech. Cadets, this is a habitual fact. She said, I always get up at six o'clock in the morning. That is, it is our habit to get up at six o'clock in the morning. As it is a habitual fact, again, we will not change the tense in the reported speech. See the example. She said that she always gets up at six o'clock in the morning. There are some modal auxiliaries and uh, you should follow it in order to make it in, use it in the indirect narration. Have a look at the slide. I hope you have finished seeing this. See this one now. This is also the modal auxiliaries and uh, the way we use it in the indirect narration, it is given here. Next. This is very important because this is the change of tense in the reported speech. Cadets, if the reported speech tense is present indefinite tense, it will be changed into past indefinite tense. Present continuous will change into past continuous tense. Present perfect will be changed into past perfect. Present perfect continuous will be changed into past perfect continuous. Past indefinite will be changed into past perfect. Past continuous will be changed into past perfect continuous. Past perfect will not change. Future will be changed into future in the past. This is very important. You should acquire it. You should know it very nicely because this is the rule 
very often you have to use while you are changing into indirect narration there are some words which are changed in the indirect narration have a look at the slide next one some more words the rules of changing it into indirect narration i hope you have finished seeing this so i'm going to the next slide Cadets, now we will learn to change assertive sentence. First one, see the example. Rahat said, I shall do the work. Here cadet, Rahat is the subject, said is the reporting verb. There is a comma and in the inverted comma, this is the reported speech. See the answer. Rahat said that he would do the work. Can it say, you see, Rahat said it has been used without tense because reporting verb said doesn't have any object. This comma has been changed into that and this reported speech has been changed into see rahat said that he would do the work here it is future in the past mina said to me she will go to dhaka here cadets there is a there is an object in the reported reporting verb so that's why it will be changed into told mina told me that she would go to dhaka again said is in the past indefinite tense that's why she will go to dhaka this future tense has changed into future in the past in the indirect narration they said to me you can help the poor they tell me that i can help the poor here also cadets reporting verb this reporting verb has an object that's why it has been changed into tell this comma has been changed into that and you can help the poor as it is an example of present tense reporting verb is in the present tense the tense in the reported speech will not be changed that's why it is they tell me that i can help the poor cadets in the assertive sentence sometimes there is the word must this must is changed into had to see the example rima said i must write a letter rima said that she had to write a letter so must the word must has been changed into had to but sometimes must means obligation see the example mother said to her son you must obey your teacher so obeying a teacher is an obligation for the boy that's why answer will be mother told her son that he must obey his teacher as this is an obligation must is used without any change cadets 
this is enough for today. I give you a homework. Change 10 assertive sentences into indirect narration. This is your homework. Do it. Okay. Cadets, thanking you. I conclude my class here. Allah Hafiz.